Hamster Champs by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Pedro Martin. The front door slammed. A car drove away. Pip Squeak poked her head out from under a pile of wood shavings. We're on our way, she said. Except for me, said Hector the Cat. Stop that, Hector, said Chuckles. Back off her face, said Mo. Why are you always so mean? asked Pip Squeak. There's nothing else to do when the people are gone, said Hector. A cat has to entertain himself somehow. What do you mean nothing to do? asked Pip Squeak. We're the hamster champs and we've got a brand new stunt. Ha! snorted Hector. What kind of stunt can hamsters do? Well, we could show you, Pip Squeak said, but we'll have to get out of the cage. So you have to promise not to chase us, said Mo. Hector thought for a minute. All right, he said. Here's the deal. If your hamster stunt is good enough, I won't chase you. But if I get bored... Watch out! No way you'll get bored, said Pip Squeak. Hamsters, let's go! Wait till you see what we can do, flea bag, said Chuckles. The hamsters lifted up the top of their cage and climbed out. I found a car, yelled Mo. I found some blocks and a board that will work for a ramp, hollered Pip Squeak. Come and help me with this thing, called Chuckles. We'll need it to measure the angles. It's called a protractor, Hector grumbled. Don't you furry little snacks know anything? The hamsters piled up some pillows into a hill. Pipsqueak placed the board so that what, that one end was on the floor and the other was on top of some blocks. Then she carefully positioned the protractor so that the center was at the point of the angle. 30 degrees, she announced. The hamster team carried the car at the hill of pillows. Then they started to run. Pipsqueak jumped in first. The car went faster. Mo was next, and then Chuckles landed right behind him. Let's fly, he hollered. The car raced over the ramp and soared into the air. Hector yawned. You call that a stunt? he asked. That was a warm-up. Watch this, said Pip Squeak. Chuckles moved the ramp so that the angle was steeper. Again, Pip Squeak measured it with the protractor. The bigger the angle, the higher we'll fly, she said. That's 45 degrees. The team Zoom down the hill, over the ramp, and into the air. Eh, I've seen better, said Hector. Is that the best angle you can do? Watch and wait, said Mo. Mo moved the ramp to make an angle of 60 degrees. He wiped the sweat from his whiskers. That looks way too steep to me, he squeaked. We need the speed. We can do it, said Chuckles. The hamsters charged down the hill and started up the ramp. The car went slower 
and slower and then rolled backward all the way down the ramp. Oh, rats, said Mo. Ha, said Hector, prepare to run. But Pipsqueak leaped to her feet, dusted herself off and announced, We missed that one, but we're going to try again. At an even larger angle. Hector was so surprised he forgot to pounce. Chuckles and Mo stared at Pipsqueak. Trust me, she said. Chuckles held the protractor. Pipsqueak started to lift the ramp. It went higher and higher until it was straight up 90 degrees. That's a right angle like a wall, said Mo. We'll smash right into it. But Pipsqueak kept moving the ramp. Now the angle was larger than 90 degrees. Hector started to laugh, but Pipsqueak kept going until the board was flat on the ground. 180 degrees, she yelled, and the hamsters ran to the top of the hill. Hector snarled, that's not a ramp, it's a straight line. You wanted a bigger angle and you got one, Pipsqueak yelled back. Hector crouched, he lashed his tail. He jumped, but the hamster, hamster sped down the hill faster than he expected. Hector plowed into the hill of pillows. Pipsqueak yelled. Chuckles climbed onto Pipsqueak's shoulders. Mo jumped onto Chuckles. As the car sped past their cage, Mo leaped on top while grabbing Chuckles' hand. Pipsqueak held onto Chuckles' tail. The hamsters climbed back into their cage and pulled the top on, the, on tight. And Chuckles said, Ha, Hector! You'll never catch the hamster chant.